What's up guys, good morning. Another short dev vlog today. Showing you some of my improvements I've made over the past couple of days. One of the biggest improvements you might see is in the top right corner there is now a minimap. Icons and let me get into that first. So we open up our menu and go to the world map. This has the full map on it. Uh, the open world map will have a similar map as well as the smaller levels eventually as well. All the players show up as green dots. All the vehicles show up as blue dots. Firehouses have their own icons and then the player houses are just little house icons. I icons will be improved over time. So we dispatch a call. Demonstrate. So, I'll show up as blue flames. Once again, these icons are just placeholders. They're just dispatched. If you respond to the call, it turns to a red flame, so you know which call you're responding to. It tracks players real time across multiplayer. You'll be able to see where everybody is. Um, eventually, there'll be names and stuff, and better icons. So, the other thing I want to show you guys is I started implementing better controller support. So this menu has full controller support. Included buttons for hotkeys. The whole menu has full controller support. The rest will be added over time. Which actually I believe fire stations too you're able to navigate with the controller. Player houses is really the only one that has support yet. So but here's the mini map. As I update the map um, over time, you'll see hydrant locations and stuff. So once hoses come back, so we'll get to the next thing. Good. So for starters with sprint, we used to have to hold it, and I did this for controller support. In order to sprint, all you have to do now is tap the sprint button while walking, and you'll continue sprinting until you let go. Ease. This is, once again, this is mainly for controller support. So, um, I added this. Door. by Bay door now. I'll be working on adding um, a way to open and close the door in the trucks. I don't want it automatic. But I want the player to kind of have his door controls like you would in real life. So the mini map works on the trucks as well. Turns with the truck. So it's pretty easy to follow where you're going. You can open the map at any time. See my dot going down. And navigate where you're going. So there's been lots of improvements over the past couple of days. Um, this update will be live later today. It'll have the mini map and everything in it. Um, lots of bug fixes, the window vaulting, the breaking windows with ladders, and lots of other numerous changes. Uh, I appreciate the support you guys are giving. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, Patreon links above too if you want to support us in other ways. All the money split between the developers. Um, it just helps us spend more time developing the game. So, anyway, have a good day.